Hello, beautiful souls. I feel this masculine carries a lot of internal energetic and spiritual tension within themselves because a part of them is living this physical 3D life, surrounded by people who again may be very low vibrational in nature, which may be why someone's guides for the Divine Feminine were really asking them. Does this motivation to action come from a space of fear, trying to control, feeling anxious, which could even be an energy you're picking up from this external masculine? Or is it being inspired from a happy, excited, kind of clear-minded space that's pulling you in a very aligned kind of way? And a lot of what the Divine Feminines are balancing and learning at this time is that art, the art of discerning. Am I being motivated from a place of fear, or am I being inspired from a place of alignment and excitement? So here we have a masculine, as well who is not only very much in their head, but feeling the deep sense of longing, of unfulfillment. And I'm getting that this longing may actually be pulling on your heart space, divine feminine, at times, making you feel kind of this nostalgia, or sadness, or emptiness, at times within your own heart through your own emotional body. That might make you even feel this push into communication towards someone in the 3D. This could be communication towards a masculine from your past. Towards this particular masculine energy, I know this will apply differently for different people, but can I get more messages from this masculine who's feeling unfulfilled? I just saw the number 222 as well, so that could really resonate with someone here. Yeah, this masculine is going through his awakening, and any sense of longing or unfulfillment or restlessness being in his head that he's feeling is really just in part symptomatic of that powerful transformative spiritual awakening happening within him. And that awakening is meant to happen, with door to spirit upright. I'm hearing everything is unfolding exactly according to plan. Yeah, with attachment in the reverse position, these feelings potentially within the masculine here of unfulfillment, of restlessness, of being really in their head, are actually meant to push them to release heavy energy around themselves or negative energy or attachments that may have actually prevented you, Divine Feminine, from coming towards them in the physical or prevented them from coming towards you. They may have actually blocked this connection at times in the 3D, with caring connections upright, I feel that releasing this heavy energy is opening the masculine up to being able to step up to the plate energetically, being able to fully support and show love and care in the physical 3D world in a way that they may have not been able to in the past because of these energetic blockages. I also feel that it is somehow opening their vision spiritually speaking, with cornucopia upright. The 1111 card from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. My beloved love, I see that this masculine spiritual sight is being opened in a sense in a way that is allowing them to see the power and potential of a highly expansive future with the Divine Feminine here, with the Cornucopia card. It's almost like a masculine seeing the light, as we say, in a way that they may have not been able to in the past. It's someone who is really having a kind of fog lifted from them and feeling as though they are seeing things clearly for the first time. That's how it feels to them in their own mind. Whereas simultaneously, they are secretly going through this powerful awakening that is shifting and transforming them in ways that are really opening their mind, causing them to feel really alone because they feel like no one around them really gets them or understands them anymore. I feel like when this masculine does try to share some of his deeper thoughts and feelings with people around him, this could be with a karmic partner or in a karmic relationship. In the extended version of the reading on Patreon, I will be reading more into this masculine feeling anxious as they see you in this really beautiful energy, perhaps being heartbroken over you, recognizing that there's some deeper bond here. So we'll be reading into what this masculine is really thinking, feeling, and experiencing. We do have the door to spirit, so I sense that this person is going through a very intense spiritual awakening at this time. But I see that all of that is being left in the past. And I see this giant coin standing out in the image as well, representing you stepping into an energy of abundance by leaving behind that version of yourself that felt as though they had something to prove. You are realizing you have nothing to prove. You are unconditionally loved. You are unconditionally worthy. 
You are unconditionally successful and abundant. And that kind of mindset and attitude is not only transforming what you manifest into your life, but also how you manifest. Because although you're someone who may have been familiar with manifestation for a long time, in the past, you may have manifested through a combination of energy techniques, such as visualization, meditation, combined with really burning yourself out, overworking yourself, pushing really hard, offering a lot of action. Whereas now you are shifting into leaning more towards effortless manifestation, lining up the energy first, visualizing, envisioning things into place, shifting your frequency, and then allowing things to effortlessly align in front of you and follow inspired, present moment action steps. Rather than trying to push so hard with physical exertion to manifest your goals, with the Hermit card, I'm picking up on a divine feminine who may have also been spending a lot of time alone recently. You may feel like you're kind of in your cave, metaphorically speaking. The number 999 may connect with someone. Also, I'm also. I just keep getting this sense that you're right on the brink of something here. You may have needed to take this time alone because, at the subconscious level, you've been aware that you're shifting out of an old timeline and into a new one. From Divine Muscular. Tyke, yes, if you believe.